Hello! Welcome back once more to uh, the ongoing adventures of Lara Croft, world's worst archaeologist. Um, so, yeah, here we go again. Um, so it's all snowy and shit, which isn't normal, and I'm very glad I don't have to do those silly balancing games anymore. And I'm about to get attacked, though. I remember this. Now, where's my button pump? I think it's a... Uh, oh! There we go. And why? Because everything's why, thank God. Ouch. Ah, behind cover. Get to cover, get to cover, get to cover. That is a fairly good point about this game, is like... This is like some weird deserted island nation that somehow has enough men to field like a couple of thousand, it seems like, in an army. Oh. Whoa, that was a lot closer than I would have liked it to have. Oh, stop moving. You know, this will just go a lot better if you just stand still and let me shoot you. Given that I'm playing this on the PC, it suddenly occurs to me that I should probably check and make sure that I'm not like... Oh, wow. Bad things are happening now. I should probably check and make sure that I'm not playing without auto assist, given that I'm with a controller on a PC. Ow. He's going to climb up here, I think. Ooh, I'm getting shot from so many different directions right now. Ha! Caught you in one. Nope, it's okay. Here's more. Oh, God! That was right in the face. This is something I've learned, and I actually genuinely didn't know this before. Ooh, there's a barrel over there. I can... do that. Ha! <clears throat> this is, like, genuinely something that I, I didn't realise the first, like, few times that I played this game, is that you actually don't apparently have to, um draw the arrow all the way back for it to do maximum damage as long as you get that headshot which is really cool for me okay I think that's all of them or at least all of like until the next wave spawns so just dodge from cover to cover and oh look there's more of them now ha ah. that was fun Ow. At the very least, it is quite nice that, you know, they finally... St oh, for God's sake, Chris, come on. They finally started adding things into games, like, um... The fact that enemies duck behind cover when you shoot at them, instead of needing to actually, like, shoot them before they'll get behind cover. Stuff like that's really good, and it's really helpful for people like me who can't aim properly. Right, so I think that's probably just about everything that I can do over here. Over Apart from years, that, there have been other survivors, but I've avoided them. So Matthias is a complete lunatic. Woo! <laughs> do I like my torch? Um, no, because I'm just going to get into another gun battle the second that I climb over that little outcropping there. So it's probably just safer to keep running around here in the dirt. I think there's actually a guy that I left dead back here. So I am going to run back because I want to get as much salvage as possible because I need as many weapon mods as possible um, because I, I need to actually be able to kill people. Did I leave a guy back here? Well, if I did, he's not here anymore. So on we go. <coughs> Lara Croft's greatest adversary, the scenery. Sad damn. I am just rubbish at this. Oh, come 
thanks. That's just what I need, is for you to remind me of how terrible I am at this game. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, fiery people. One of them's got to stick his head out first. Ah, come on. Come on. Come on, Cottontail. Okay, he's got a thing on fire. Ah! Bugger. Okay, do you know what? You can have some machine gun for your troubles. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, you bastards. Yeah, much better with a rifle than I am with a bow. And where did I get this machine gun? I looted it off one of your friend's corpses, because that's just what I am. Right, I think that's all dead, so it's time to go down and fight the sort of boss. The big guy. This game actually was quite good about this, because obviously you need enemy escalation of a sort, sort of where the bad guys get stronger and harder as you go through the game. And I think this game actually did do it really quite well. Um, like, it makes sure that you are okay with taking down the basic enemies before you... That's what I'm pressing. Damn it. And then it introduces you, obviously, to this guy, and then it brings on the other enemies. Take that. Hopefully get behind cover. Ha! That guy got fucking wrecked. <laughs> I took him apart. That's horrible. <laughs> okay, so weapon parts. It said I just found one of two weapon parts. This was another thing that they added to the game, which is part of just the ongoing system of upgrades that they had. But uh, it's that you can, like, upgrade your uh, your bow, can go into, like, a hunting bow, and your rifle can turn into, like, an AK-47. Um <coughs> Your pistol can turn into, a, like, certain combat pistols. And you do that by gathering up um, weapons parts. Now, some of the weapon parts you get from defeating certain enemies or you get in story. And others of the weapon parts you can only get by completing the secret tombs. So, that's, um, so that's the weapon parts to anyone who is somehow watching this and doesn't know about the weapon parts. So, hello to that one person. Nice to meet you. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. And smack open. Hey, there's a body. I wrecked shop up here. <laughs> Some kind of soldier's identity tags. They don't recognize the kanji. Were these used during World War Two? Yeah, like I say, all of the artifacts and relics in this game, they actually like they expanded on the story to some extent, which I thought was really cool. Um, given how, uh, like I say, in the older games, like you'd be on this island in the middle of Japan and you'd find some artifacts and be like, ooh, this is an African urn from, you know, 1980. And it just felt a bit weird to be finding those sort of artifacts in the wrong place, as it were. Whereas in this game, they used the artifact, which was an established system of Tomb Raider, in order to add to the story with things like... Um, you know, you find the dog tags from the Japanese soldiers, which, if you hadn't figured it out, tells you that Japanese soldiers were on the island. And you find um, artifacts of other survivors. You find you find all sorts of artifacts that just they add to the story, and it's such a better experience, I think. Stop this base camp because <coughs> I've got a lot of salvage now. So I'm going to keep upgrading the gun, uh, just so that it is completely upgraded as much as this gun can be upgraded. So that is now everything complete. 
So I don't really use the burst fire mod. So what I'm going to do next, now because I've got the axes all upgraded, the guns all upgraded, the bows all upgraded, so I'm going to start working on the machine gun. So, time for the tower ascent. Crawly, 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 drop. I've probably just gone the long way around again, but yep, I went the long way around. I could have just gone to the right. Yeah, like I said, this is honestly one of my favourite sequences in the whole game. I just think it's it's masterfully shot. It has that perfect combination of making you feel like you're a part of a game, but also the cinema, the cinematography of it. Like I can't really, I can't move the camera at all at the moment, but I still feel like I have control of the character. Plus, you know, shit like that keeps happening. <laughs> oh, apparently I've bandaged my arm at some point. I didn't notice when she did that. Still haven't, you know, taken care of the gaping intestinal wound. Good lord, Lara. Up we go. Blah. I am, like, legitimately, I am not scared of heights as such but holy crap this this mission sets off me sets me off the thing that really gets me and I like I say I've never played Rise of the Tomb Raider so I'm really hoping there's nothing in there <clears throat> for me it's underwater sequences like there were bits of um uh, Tomb Raider Underworld oh I had I was really struggling with that because I just I don't do underwater I don't like underwater it's it's Ah, it's dark and it's ah creepy. Don't like it. So um, so also you'll probably not be seeing me playing versions of Subnautica on this channel or something like that. Like I'm even scared of freaking going too far underwater in Minecraft. So ah no 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 up you get up you come on Lara. Oh dear oh dear oh dear. Why why would you put a mechanical panel up here? And here, we, this is just this shot. It's amazing. I love it. Great game. Wonderful game. Just that. And the emotion of the scene, the music, the cinematography, the, the voice acting, the way the character models look. You just, you feel her like exhaustion, but determination to keep going. Just like, oh, okay. It's just so, it's masterful storytelling. Hey, we got everything crossed for you down here, LC. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so let's tune this radio. Is this it? No, it didn't like that. Oh, there we go. Bingo, got it. You're tuned to the international. Mayday, Mayday, this is Lara Croft of the Endurance. We are stranded on an island in the Dragon's Triangle. We need help and medical supplies. Please respond. Come on, let's move on. Uh, mayday, Mayday, come on. this is Lara Croft of the Endurance. This is aircraft Nautilus 177 Alpha. <sighs> Searching Woo! for you since the distress call from your vessel. Almost given up hope. So had we. Got your approximate position, but we could share uh, and just look at the, the detail on her face in, we'll in this cutscene. Like, oh, actually, I'm not completely sure whether it's going to have. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure whether it's going to have made it through on my rather rubbishy recording, but um, like you can see the creases in her face when she's like frowning and moving her face, which just is astonishing to me. Time to set some fires. You certainly can set things on fire. You've been doing it for most of the first bleeding hour. <clears throat> Though to be fair, it's less a case of Lara setting things on fire and more a case of things just seem to be on fire around Lara a lot. Yeah, with no way to slow my descent and my ankles are broken. <laughs> That's one way to get down. <laughs> I wonder if it would have let me jump up earlier when I wasn't supposed to have jumped up that far. Don't know. Oh, this is where I get the. Oh, this is where I get the torch that lights itself. And kadoink. 
Need to find a way to light this fuel. Just get myself nice and covered in fuel so that when I light the torch, I set myself ablaze. <clears throat> Sorry for the coughing. Well, that was useless. <laughs> so far, I've only had to cut one little bit of faffing about, but I really did faff for a good, like, two minutes of stuff. <coughs> and I've got a fire striker torch. This should do the trick. Thank God. So, how do I use that? Is it just. Hold X and... Yep! Hold X and my torch is lit. Oh, yeah. That's better. Light it on fire! And get out of the way. Ooh, there goes the fuel tank. That ought to send up a signal. No one leaves. Yeah, she's pretty damn serious about that whole no one leaves thing, isn't she? And further adventures of Lara Croft falling off shit. Ah! Whoa, no. Ah. I have no idea how much control I actually have at this point. Like, oh god! Is there any way for me to... Jesus. Is there any way for me to die or like... Oh, and to the left. To the... Ah, uh, to the... Ah, uh, to the right, 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 to the left again, to the left again, to the left again. Ow, I'm running over like cobbles and shit. And, oh god. Down we go. Bah, Lara, Lara, dear Lara. Oh no. And grab hold. Up we get, and I think it's probably time to move again. To the right, I think, from what I saw. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Jump! <sighs> <laughs> they did like those sequences a lot. And I like them too. They're fun. <laughs> Up you get. I mean, at the very least, they did, you know, make an effort to have her hold her stomach a bit. The pilot. I have to get to him. Find a way to the mountain village. I have a feeling that that way is going to be down. Oh look, everything started falling again. I'm going to take the high road here and just see how long I can stay on it, basically. I mean, I suppose I'm giving this game a lot of shit for, like, having Lara fall off things all the time. But on the other hand, it is slightly more realistic than having to go into, like, 4,000-year-old tombs that are still apparently completely structurally sound enough to have, like, secret traps and puzzles that still work. Like, that sort of stuff doesn't tend to lend itself to lasting the ages. Much more realistic to have it all. Whoa, God. Right. Okay, the ground seems to be slightly more secure. And there's bullets. Oh, this is not going to go well. Mm. Thanks for that, Roth. What a perfectly timed... Oh, God, there's dynamite. Out of the way, get out of the way. Okay, come around the corner. And he's got a shield, of course he has. He'll be coming round the corner when he comes, when he comes. He'll be coming round the corner when he comes, when he comes. He'll be coming round the corner and I'll shoot him with the machine gun. And that didn't really scan, so I'm going to stop singing. Just take time out from my busy schedule of murder to make sure that my salvage is all up to date. Can I go... Ooh, I can go up here. Damn it, I can go up here. 
Can I go up here? Maybe I need to, like, jump off the wall. Yes! Haha! -ha. I don't quite know why I want to go up here, but I'm convinced that I do. Ah! I knew there was a reason. I'm not crazy. Put that torch out. It's getting in the way. Thunk. And... Oh, look, there's another dead guy. Raid him. And weapon mods available. I cannot search the pilot's corpse. That's probably a good thing. And this is probably where I'm going to leave things, because any more than this and we'll be looking I at an episode that's an hour long. My head. A storm that came out of nowhere, out of a clear sky, and brought down a plane. It's not rational. You know it's not rational, Lara. Well, I can only get the higher capacity magazine, so I'll get the higher capacity magazine. I don't know what it is yet. Which is useful because I seem to be better with the machine gun than I am with the pistol in terms of accuracy. Probably because I'm using it for longer range stuff. Right. So, with four out of ten Lara's journals, that does it for uh, this episode. So, I hope that you've enjoyed it. I certainly have because this was quite a fun episode. And I'll see you at the next one. Bye!